Hello, thank you for dropping by. I am Nathaniel Lim from the Pafletis Lab based in the University of British Columbia, Canada. Our poster for today is curation of over 10,000 transcriptomic studies to enable data reuse. I would like to mention upfront that most of the information can be found on our one-page poster and further details are available in our bioarchive preprint with the same title. We know that the gene expression omnibus contains a vast and growing amount of transcriptomic data. This resource is a great opportunity for data reuse and reanalysis. However, based on our experience, before performing any reuse, a lot of time and effort is needed to curate and reprocess the data sets stored in GEO. This is necessary to overcome a few problems. For microarray platforms, different array manufacturers have their own ways of mapping probes to genes, resulting in inconsistent mappings across different platforms. For expression data, while GEO does store raw expression data, the most accessible are the processed ones provided by data submitters. There is no guarantee that every data set is processed in a consistent manner, and the level of quality control also differs from data set to data set. In terms of metadata, the information is stored as unstructured free text, and for some data sets, the submitted information is insufficient to reconstruct the original design. Information concerning the batching of samples is also absent. Next, there are geodata sets that may contain data from samples of different taxa or was generated using multiple platform technologies. In some cases, the same exact sample may be duplicated across different geodata sets. Collectively, all these problems negatively affect any form of cross data set analysis. To solve these issues, we created Gemma, a bioinformatics platform consisting of a database of curated transcriptomic datasets, the underlying analytical software, web interface, and web services. I will be touching on each component throughout this recording. Here, I show the various strategies we employ in Gemma to solve the identified problems. For microarray annotations, we forego manufacturer-provided mappings and use a standardized pipeline to map probe sequences to genes. For expression data, all datasets are processed through a standard pipeline. Also, as far as possible, we reprocess the data from raw data files. Batch effect correction and outlier removal is also performed as necessary. On the metadata side of things, Datasets are annotated based on a set of standardized curation guidelines with judicious use of ontology terms from 12 different ontologies. We also use a heuristic to infer the sample batching information, which is later used for batch correction. For dataset organization issues, we perform dataset splitting for the multi-taxa and multi-platform datasets. The split is based on either the sample taxa or the platform. In some datasets where the same biological sample is measured using multiple related platforms, we use merge platforms in the dataset representation. Separately, automated detection ex and exclusion of duplicated samples is performed during loading of a dataset into Gemma. Here, I show a flowchart depicting the flow of information from GEO into Gemma. The left branch shows the processing of microarray probe annotations, while the right shows the processing of expression data and metadata. Next, I will mention some statistics of Gemma's data holdings. Currently, Gemma contains about 11,000 curated datasets, approximately 400,000 samples, and over 800 curated platforms, including both microarray and RNA sequencing. 12 ontologies are used during metadata annotation for a total of over 54,000 topic annotations across datasets, with the average dataset having about 5 topic annotations. The topics covered by Gemma datasets are wide-ranging. 
Here I show some examples of ontology terms with the plotted values being the number of associated data sets. The examples are thematically grouped with panel A being various tissues, B and C being various cancers and neuronal disorders. The curated data and metadata in Gemma is publicly available. Users can view and download information from our web page. For programmatic access, we have a REST compliant API and a companion R package to wrap the JSON output as R objects. Here are the links for the website, web service, and R package. The links are also available on the one page poster. And I would like to mention again that a preprint of the same title is also available on BioArchive. Now, for future work, we will continue to maintain and update Gemma software. We will also continue curation of more data sets into Gemma with a greater focus on those that are neuronal related. System support for single cell RNA sequencing data sets, particularly those with biological replication is currently being planned. This marks the bulk of my recording. On behalf of my fellow co-authors, I would like to thank Gemma users around the world for their feedback and suggestions, Geo and GeoData submitters for providing a rich source of data, and ontology developers for creating the ontologies we use. Last but not least, I would like to also thank all the Gemma curators that have contributed over the years and my fellow lab mates for their continued support and feedback. I would also like to acknowledge that this work is supported by grants from the NIH, NSERC, and UBC for your PhD fellowship. Thank you for listening.